Welcome back, one and all, to Finite Plays Stardew Valley Expanded, the 100th episode of Stardew Valley Expanded. Oh man, oh man, I cannot believe that we are finally here. Episode 100! Give it up for a hundred whole episodes of this incredible series. It has been a journey to do this. Oh man, I have had, I have had so much fun. So much incredible experiences have been going on with Stardew Valley Expanded. I am so glad for this. Lance! Hello, Din. The monster crops are quite fascinating. Oh, I'm glad something is coming of this. I haven't stopped studying their arcane properties since you delivered them. Well, I'm glad for that. Glad you find them intriguing. There's a reward and a treasure chest waiting for you at my outpost. Guess we're going to the highlands today. It's something I discovered while exploring a dungeon in a faraway land. Ooh, oh, that sounds intriguing. Farewell, Din. I'll see you in a few days for your birthday. I believe your birthday is next Monday, so I will definitely be seeing you for that. Picked up this recipe overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome, Kent. Super meal. Oh, that's interesting. What do we need to make a super meal? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, seven iridium. Oh, that is nice. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, is everyone else just so incredibly happy for today? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be such an incredible episode. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, good morning to all my wonderful creatures. Oh, oh, biscuit, biscuit, oh, biscuit and Curadil. Who else is here? Mitzi. M Mitzi. Uh, I, oh, that's a piece of grass. That's why. Okay, and then we have suck on these. Oh man, suck on these. I'm in a rush. Shall it, Josh? I am dressed like you guys. I am truly one of you. I am one of you, and I love it. Oh, it's so good. It's this is a wonderful day. Wonderful days. Wonderful days are ahead of all of us. Is everything in here ready to go? It is a good luck day today. Are we doing anything? I don't believe we're doing anything. Is Scarlet around? Is she around? She might come along later because we did see her at Fairhaven so it would be interesting to start giving her cherries we're not going to worry about that overly much we're going to finish up our garden chores all around the ranch and then we will finish planting all of the seeds the ancient seeds because I would like to finish uh planting all of those I would like to get that other area of the farm sorted out properly and then we can turn everything else let's get everyone else up and Adam awaken all of them. Say hello to all of our pigs with our wonderful truffles. Truffle oil, I should say. Not sure what we're going to use for that besides making an absolute metric butt ton. Oh, winter pig. Gerbil tea how. Rock hawk. Oh man, everyone. Bueller. Charles Char. Everyone is here. Greg, how could I forget Greg? Oh, Greg, this is incredible. It's so good to see you all. This is great. Get hunting those truffles, boys and girls. We need all of them. Enjoy the fine food, the wonderful grass I have set about on th everywhere. Uh, right, okay, so we need we need to do the jellies, the fruits. It's a Friday. Does the ancient fruit crop come in on Fridays? I don't exactly remember. Let's take all of this forage as well, because if we're going over here, I'll also take the cherries. The cherries will be helpful... I'm not sure if they're going to be helpful in and of themselves, but we can give them to Scarlet if we need to. I'm very curious. Did I procrastinate enough? No, they're not on Fridays. All right, that's fine. When the starfruits come in, that will be a wonderful thing in and of themselves. Those crops aren't ready yet. I can turn them into seeds when they are, and then we can hang on to them until the next crop. Right, I took the ancient fruits from over here because we don't need them. Deluxe fertilizer. Right, fertilizer. One of these days, we had 11 days yesterday, or in the last episode, so we have we have 10 days to do this. I can find 50? I can find 50 fish by the time it takes to do that. Because if I were to combine all of the fish we currently have in all of the chests, I would definitely be able to do that myself. I could totally do that. Oh, Mio. It's been a while since we pet Mio, but that's fine. And then everything in here is looking good. More more berries from you guys. Definitely want to take those. Once they start growing, that will be wonderful. So let's put them away. The void roots, I want to put them... I want to start making those seeds as well. I want to have a surplus of those kinds of seeds for when the proper seasons come. Let's put all of that away. The cherries, we'll keep them for Scarlet, like I said. 
What was I doing? What did we need? What did we need? What did we need? Oh, I need a gift for Sophia, obviously. We need to bring those. And then, did what we already give one of those? Yeah, we have, we've already given her one this week, so we definitely need to stop by for that. We can stop by Sophia today, drop off this flower and say good morning to her this wonderful day. And then that is great. That's great. It is great. This is very good. It's wonderful. We're having a wonderful day. This is episode 100. It, good things are going to happen. Unfortunately, if there is any downside to anything that's happening, it's that we're getting married on Lewis's birthday. Which, I mean, fine. Fair enough. I, I don't... I, I'm not against Lewis at all. Not at all. I, I just... I'm, I'm still on his case about the fact that he, uh... Oh. We're doing this now. I, we can rant about Lewis at another time. It's not nearly as important. So, Scarlet, what do you think about my fairy garden? Oh, this is the fairy rose garden because we did her quest. Oh, I thought they were tulips. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, I'm so glad to see that she actually has been doing something with this. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. The flowers smell really nice. It's all super pretty. I think this spot will make for great cosplay pictures. <laughs> you and your dinosaur fiance. Oh, you said it. We need to get him over here, soon as possible. Luckily for you, I am already here, and I am coming. I, I have more fairy roses for you, my darling fiancé, and I will never call you anything else, except in three days' time, where I shall call you my wife, because that will be the case. Where is she? I have stopped by the house, but she was not home. Is she at the beach, perhaps? The island? No. Where? Where is Sophia? Is she... I have lost her. I have lost my intended. It's probably because she doesn't want me to see the dress or any kind of extra plans. Although I don't see why not. I could help with this. She's vanished from the world. Yeah, I don't see her at all. Is she up at the community center? Um, perhaps. No, it's just Clint. Hmm. She's vanished. She's getting ready for the wedding, which is something I should probably be doing myself. Something I should probably almost certainly be doing myself, but that doesn't matter. If she wants to get ready, I will leave her to her own devices. There will be plenty of time for gifts sooner rather than later, because hopefully, hopefully her own plans, because I know she mentioned a change of scenery, so maybe, maybe we can help her along with that, because we do have a rather big farmhouse. We do have a rather big farmhouse, and I feel like that would be a wonderful addition to our lives. Anyway, anyway, if she's going to work on that, that's perfectly fine by me. I myself feel like it's more more than beneficial to get started and finish up on planting all of these seeds. So I'm going to... Wow, only one tile failed to uh, stick around, so that's fine. So I definitely want to do this. So I'm going to... I am going to, of course, finish... Uh, hoeing and watering the ground and planting these seeds and we will take care of this and I'll see you really quick when it's done Planting seeds planting seeds. Is that all of them? Oh, we are one we have one extra seed Which is pretty incredible all things considered that I got all of the timing or the counting We got lucky enough with all of those for them to plant pretty quickly, which is incredible incredible because now we don't need to worry about that overly much we should probably plant these rare seeds at, th at some point another harvest of those we'll probably put those in the in the shed grandpa's shed afterwards i definitely want to turn those into more seeds as well but that's fine we have a few extra ancient fruit left over which is good for us i'm going to turn the rest of these void roots into seeds as well and uh, speaking of, thinking of these uh, wonderful, mysterious monster crops, let's take a trip really quickly up to the highlands because I am extremely curious about whatever Lands has in that mysterious chest he mentioned. I am so very curious. Very, very curious indeed. So let us drop off. Um, actually, right. I need to get used to the fact that that's not over there. Anyway. Uh, let's drop these off in the shed for the moment. Uh, the ancient fruit, at the very least, because that is where they go. And then we can... Are, th are the wines ready on Fridays? No, they're not ready, I think, maybe over the weekend. I don't remember what day of the week we've got that planned out for. Doesn't overly matter much. We'll save those. Actually, we'll take those with us. We can put them elsewhere. 
Ancient fruit and wine, of course. Right, 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 right. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about that. How is everything in here doing? They are growing fine, perfectly, wondrous. Right, okay. Now that that's out of the way, uh, let's take this and put it elsewhere. Let's get over to the highlands, I suppose. The quickest way over there would be from our teleporter. How did this truffle get over here? On the other side of the fence? Well, I technically know how. It's If one of the pigs gets really close up to the fence, they can technically spawn one on the other side of an object. It works with normal fences as well. But we're not going to concern ourselves with that at all. We need to concern ourselves primarily with whatever mysterious reward Lance has promised us. Should definitely probably bring him some different gifts because uh, his birthday is coming up. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, I sh really should have gotten him something today. It doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. I can get him... Ah, does, it really doesn't matter. Oh, the dwarf. Oh, hello, dwarf. Glad you're free. Very glad you're free. I wonder if things change in the highlands now that it's not winter. One of these days, we'll have to come back and check. But this is what we get, so I'm very... I'm so curious. It's a diamond wand. You received a diamond wand. What does a diamond wand do for us? It is a level 84 sword. A magic relic from Galdora teleports enemy away from the user, effective against the flyers. One to do damage, plus three speed, plus 50 crit chance, and 300 weight. Plus 300 weight. Oh, man. Teleports it away from the player. That's crazy. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it if it does teleport people... Oh, wow, that's... Here, hit hit one. Oh, wow, it flung it crazy far away. Here, come over here. Oh my gosh, it it really does. It really does teleport them. Wow, it teleports them miles away. Look at it. It goes all the way to the corner. Man, 300 weight. That's insane. Imagine if enemies took damage from crashing into objects with speed. I mean, as incredible as it is, I much prefer the wonderful thing that is my galaxy sword because that has a lot of damage and I can kill things very quickly. Rice shoots, slime seeds, interesting. We'll have to come back to the highlands later, but that diamond wand, that's an interesting item. Especially, it's like good for flyers indeed. I wonder how that works on stuff like serpents and the upgraded serpents in Mr. Key's Skull Caverns. Very curious to, to, to see and think about that. We'll have to remember to take that with us next time we go over there. But that's an interesting, that's a very cool reward from getting all of those crops. I'm very glad that we could do that. Is there anything else? Uh, no rewards. Hey there, adventurer. Got guild business today? Apparently not. What do we still need to do? Uh, magma sprites. We should end Pepper Rexes. Hmm. At some point, we need to go to, at some point, we definitely need to go check out the, um, the volcano dungeon. I think for the last little bit of today, we're just going to go to floor 40, 40 of the mines, and hopefully maybe potentially find um, some iridium, not iridium, uh, radioactive ore, because if we can if we can get more of that for more fertilizer, that's uh, even better for us. And maybe, I mean, it's still technically a good luck day today, so maybe we find a galaxy soul. We still only need one of those, and that would be really good to get. This floor is filled to the brim with monsters, and I do wonder if we can get lucky enough to find what we need in here. Unfortunately, we are running out of time, so probably not. Not. Unfortunately, if I actually made a dedicated trip in here and found this earlier, I could have farmed this floor for wonderful things and almost certainly have found it eventually, but we didn't, so we need to get out of here. I'll fight these three and then leave because we need to get back to the farm. Nothing special. Well, we did find one ancient seed, but like I said, and, you know, as evidenced by the fact that we have more than enough ancient fruit all over the rest of the entire farm, having one ancient seed is not really, a, you know, a special thing. Uh, but it is an obligatory part of any trip into Skull Cavern at this point. Will we pass out again? Probably. It is very late, but at least we'll be passing out inside of our own house. Can we pass out on the couch? Let's just pass out on the couch. But that's fine. We're, we At least we're in our own house this time, so whatever. Whatever. We did find a few bit. I found, like, two nodes of radioactive ore, so I think we have, like, seven bits. 
six. All right, well, that that's that's no big deal. That is no big deal. That is no big deal whatsoever. Is Sophia still around? Oh, she's back at her farm. So we need to go. We definitely need to go and uh, chat to, with her. Uh, right. The diamond wand. Of course, we have all of this wonderful stuff. What am I going to do with the diamond wand? For right now, as cool of a thing as it is, level 84 sword. That is insane. I am going to keep it with the rest of the stuff because we are not going to do anything with it at the moment. We need to put... Let me just sort out the inventory really quick because that is a boring but necessary part of Stardew Valley Expanded. Oh, hello, Sophia. I mean, I was meaning to come see you earlier or, well, yesterday, but I was definitely going to come see you today. I still have that. I still need to give you a gift. Hey, you, um... I just wanted to say I'm really grateful for my fairy garden. I love it so much. Oh, I'm so I am inordinately pleased that you're happy with it. I put a I really wanted to get it to you a lot sooner than I ended up doing, but the timing, the timing just didn't work out. So I'm I'm very pleased that you're happy with it. To pay you back, which you absolutely do not need to do, I can I contracted with a new sprinkler supplier. You can purchase new devices for my ledger now. Ooh, that's cool. Very, very cool. I might go look into that myself. I can now purchase iridium sprinklers and nozzles from Sophia's ledger in her cosplay room. The fact that we can buy the nozzles might be incredibly helpful. Oh, that is neat. Really quick though, I have a rabbit's foot in my pocket because of one specific thing. I looked on the map and is the boy there? Where is the boy? Where is he? He's by... He's he's in the town. Martin is in town. This is the Martin alert. We need to track the boy down. Martin, I have a rabbit's foot for you. If you don't like it, you better not make it. Obvious. I don't want to work today. Well, you know, have this rabbit foot. Hopefully it cheers you up. Oh, this is awesome. Thanks. You're very welcome. I'm glad I can provide you with the rare opportunity to give you gifts because I never see you otherwise. Anyway, it's a good luck day today. It's another good luck day, which is very good. I think in lieu of anything else, we might go back to the mines. No, actually, it's a good luck day, so we're going into we're going into the volcano cavern, the volcano dungeon because we do need cinder shards. Mm, I do want I do need that galaxy soul. I do need a lot of stuff. 20 21. I would need 20 more 20 more uh, key gems to buy a galaxy soul. I think I'll just wait around until I find one. Right, okay. Let's do the farm chores. Uh, what do we... Mm. I feel like with good luck days, it's more, more beneficial in the long run to go into the mines because of uh, the chance of finding the radioactive ore. And the more stuff of that that we get, the better in the long run. Oh, we also have to do... Oh, there's so many chores. There's so many chores to do all around the farm. We need to say hello to the animals, pick up the truffles. So many truffles. That's a lot of truffles. And then we need to go at least to check out Ginger Island really quick for the chance of all of the crops being done. Man, we have so many truffles. I really can't get... I, I cannot afford to fall behind on truffle gathering. Because if we do, it'll they'll just get everywhere. There are so many truffles. Man, uh, maybe 12 pigs was a bit much, especially if they're just going to constantly get more truffles. All right, let's do, let's do this. Let's, uh, why is there a random bit of tree? Yeah, get rid of that pine cone. Uh, let's check here, here. I can decide by the fact if the wine is done, which it is, that means the fruit on Ginger Island is done. So I need to go and get the ancient fruit from Ginger Island. And then I need to put them back in the kegs. All right, we'll do all the stuff around the farm and then go probably into the mines because we st we have to do all of this stuff. We have 50 more, 51 more ancient fruit and wine. I want to make full use of the fact that such we're, we're going to make bank on all of this ancient fruit. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be wonderful. So right, let me let me uh, do all of the stuff around the farm really quick, and then we can catch back up when there is stuff to talk about. I suppose the crops are indeed here. I was right about that. Let's get them in my pockets. 
All right, so now that we have all of this fruit in our pockets, now is a good time to talk about the fact that we fertilized that plot of land some episodes back. If you recall, I put the entire ancient fruit crop field stock full of that wonderful high quality fertilizer and you can see the effects because we now have a hundred and ten iridium quality ancient fruit that is a hundred and thirty three thousand dollars right there that is very high quality it will allow you that extremely like level four quality like what is it called what is the actual term for it uh the deluxe fertilizer deluxe fertilizer will now allow you to have Iridium quality crops, which is not something that was possible in the base vanilla game. Keys Hunger Challenge, Skull Cavern, Floor 100. Hmm. Hmm. Your task is to make it to level 100 in the Skull Cavern. However, you can't eat or drink anything while there. You know what? Tomorrow is Sunday. We should be able to do that really quick. Because we have all of the jades necessary to make it down there. So I don't mind doing that at all. We are going to take all of these fruit, though, this ancient fruit. We are going to turn it back into wine, because now we have that ability, and we definitely want to. I'm going to put those back in the kegs, and because it is still only... It's not even 1 o'clock, or, well, it's a little... Yeah, it's 1 o'clock, essentially. For all intents and purposes, it is now 1 o'clock. We should still be able to make it back into the mines, which is fine. I want to put all of these fruit in there. We'll start with the silver quality. Anyway, if you're using the deluxe fertilizer, I believe it is impossible as long as you're, like, all of this is presuming that you're at level 10 farming, which is, you know, if you have access to deluxe level fertilizer, you should be at level 10, almost certainly. But I believe if you're at level 10 and you have that fertilizer, there is a 0% chance of getting um, just normal quality crops. I believe the lowest level of crops you can get is silver. So, I mean, it's, it's a good little boost to money if you're only selling the crops. But um, it's also a pretty good boost if you want to sell your iridium quality crops as well. So I'll definitely, definitely take that. And then we'll also probably make them into jelly. I don't mind turning the iridium quality stuff into stuff like jams and jelly. It's fine. I believe because it's been three days, we can also do the stuff in the greenhouse as well as the shed. So I think, depending on whether or not that's all sorted and done, I'll do that as well. Oh, it's 2 o'clock. It's probably going to be a late trip into the mines, but that is fine. Yeah, they're all ready. I'm going to get this sorted out super quickly. All of the jelly is done and sorted. Keys Hunger Challenge. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely do that. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. And then I also want to go into the shed and sort out the ancient fruit. I need to put more ancient fruit in there. We should have more than enough ancient fruit to cover all of that. And then, right, I don't need to keep much ancient fruit into the actual grandpa's shed because those, the kegs will be done processing when we have a new batch anyway, so... I'll definitely keep the rest of the ancient fruit down over here so we can fill up with more jellies. Because now that we have enough seeds, we should have more than enough. And then that will be a wonderful bit. So let me finish up doing this really quick. And we have 77 berries left over. So that is a wonderful amount of stuff right there. Uh, we still have ample amounts of cranberries if we ever need some kind of buffer. So that's three. That's nearly 400,000 right there. We have... 66,000 in cranberries. We have plenty of other jellies for money if we ever need it. We also have bunches of roe. Anyway, I think that is enough of the farm chores at 5 o'clock. Man, we have so much stuff going along, along around on the farm. I can't speak. It does. I'm saving all my brain power for Sunday, tomorrow. Anyway, let us... Right, let's let's just get sorted. Let's just uh let's just go straight into the oh, wait, I need that I need that um that sweet, sweet pheromones because that is absolutely a necessity if we're going into the mines. I need do I have any extras? Do I have any at all? I don't, so I have to make some myself. So let's douse ourselves in that. Let's get some spicy eels right away, which is good for our energy. And then let's drop off, um, right. I think I want to actually get myself ready. <laughs> Stupid, probably an interesting choice to get myself ready in this particular way right now, but it's fine. 
it's fine. We will save the, nope. Right, mouse mouse and keyboard. It, it operates in a strange way for me. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Let's go, let us now go to the wonderful mines and hopefully we get a bunch of radioactive ore. I need more radioactive ore from our Ford fertilizer and an absolutely ins obscene amount of galaxy souls. I only need one galaxy soul, but you know, at this rate, that is basically an obscene amount. Wait, while we're by Clint, just because of course he's not at his stupid post why am i not surprised i'm not surprised at all fine to get my mind off of that stupid non-business savvy sob let's just go into the mines and look for interesting things all right we are done for the day and we found a little bit of iridium i mean radioactive ore found 18 bits that's not bad for only a few hours not even a whole dedicated day i will not say no to that because that is 18 more bits of places in the ground that we can fertilize how much do we actually need for that how many can we make we can only make nine what are we lacking we're lacking the bones of course lacking the bones that's fine. That is wonderful and fine. We don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, Sunday. What is up next? Uh, besides our wedding, of course. Oh, we've even marked it on our calendar. Oh, Louis's birthday and Din and Sophia's wedding. Oh, I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait. Let us go to bed. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. And this is going to be the happiest day ever. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Sophia did mention she wanted a morning wedding. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Everyone's here. When Din first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Din is going to be as much of a part of this town as any of us. It's my great honor on this day seven of spring to unite Din and Sophia in the bonds of marriage. Oh, this is the best. This is the happiest day of our life. Let's get right to it. Oh, Louis! Louis wants to. Louis wants to hurry this along so he can get to his birthday celebration with Marnie. Oh, I see straight through you, Louis. Din, Sophia, as the mayor of Pelican Town and the regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, you may kiss. This is incredible. We have married our love. Oh, oh, beautiful music. Oh, the most joyous of days. Everyone is here. Oh, oh, this is great. This is great. Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright. It may be different, but it is a different in the very best of ways. Oh, this is the best way to celebrate a hundred episodes. Sophia, oh my God, my darling wife, you are here on the farm. We get to hug and kiss and do all sorts of married couple things. Oh, I have gifts. I have gifts. I cannot go. Oh, she even has her own room. Oh, I am absolutely going to have to redecorate. She's got her fairy stone and the fairy rose. Sophia was watching a funny anime cat video on MeTube. Oh, my supervillain school volume three. Sailor Sun volume four. And we even, and she even has her own sewing machine. We don't even have to break out our own anymore. This is great. This is so very good. This is the best. This is so good. But just because we are now entering the best stage of our life ever, bar none, does not mean we can forget about the normal way of life. There is stuff to do. There is always stuff to do. And we will not get complacent. And we will not forget about all of the things that must be done. We have 33 bits of things. We need to go get... Uh, it's a decent luck day today. We need to... It's Lewis's birthday. There's stuff to do. What is Lewis like? What does... I have my list. Whenever there's someone from the normal game, I can always check the list. What is Lewis like? Uh, it's really dark. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, where did I write you? Lewis, Lewis, where are you on this list? It's very small. Green tea. Past me was an idiot. I don't have green tea. Doesn't Lewis like leeks or peppers or whatever? Hold on, let me check really quick, proper like. Glazed yams, autumn bounty, or hot peppers. Do we have any of this? Uh, dish of the she. Yeah, we don't have anything for Lewis. Fried calamari. 
I mean, do I? I don't suppose I have any random hot peppers just sitting around in my summer chest, do I? I feel like I wouldn't have those. No, I do not. I have the pepper seeds, and I don't have any universal likes. So what is Lewis? I mean, like, ah, oh, I need something for Lewis. I need something for the man. Um, don't I have some four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I have some iridium four-leaf clovers. He can have one of those. Because that is, uh, perfectly fine. But also, also, there are plenty of things that have now changed. Stop doing... Buttons. There are plenty of things that now have changed in our lives that... Now that we're married. One of which being the most obvious thing, that Sophia is now part of the farm life. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. I'll always treasure it. She is a part of a farm. She will live on the farm. We can do all sorts of married couple things. It's incredible. Oh, we also have mail. Maybe you found some good quality sewn. Maybe you can build something with it. Oh, thank you, George. Always incredible. Oh, this is good. This is so incredibly good. Another quick and easy thing to point out is that she has her own little fairy go rose garden. This is, in the expanded version at least, where your spouse will put their own little hobby area because every spouse has their own dedicated hobby area and that is where they will go, so they ha can have their own little area for all their own projects. Sophia has her own little garden, and I am so glad for it because it looks incredible. So let's pet all of the animals and do all of the wonderful farm chores. And then, oh man, even up above, even up above, you, we have our own little marker, like below Sunday, it says we have the heart. So I can only assume that that means that we have hugged our spouse today. But an interesting quirk of being married is now we have an extra four hearts of affinity to go through. That essentially means uh, normally unmarried, like no bachelors, the, the people that aren't bachelors have a maximum of 10, and then bachelors or bachelorettes have a maximum of eight. Your spouse has a maximum of 14 hearts. So we definitely want to continue to work on that because that is very much something that we need to work on, which is a very interesting thing because it will have its own rewards, of course. There will be plenty of things to do now that we are married, and it will, we will focus on that. We will focus on that throughout the coming episodes and weeks and months of this wonderful series. A hundred episodes going strong, going very strong indeed. Now that we have our own, our own wife, we have our own wife, we are married. That is incredible. That is, it's such a happy occasion. Such a happy occasion. But we have plenty of money. I think we need to go to Robin and upgrade the barn because we do need, or not the barn, the coop. I think we need to start working on the, yeah, we have two barns. So now we should work on the coops. Is everything in here looking good? It is, everything in there is looking good. Right, okay. So, right, let's get all of, do we have all of this stuff? Actually, we don't have the wood and the stone for actually doing anything like that. So that's unfortunate, but that's also fine. We don't have to worry about that. Let's go, let's go to Lewis. Let's wait, it's Sunday. We have to go to Skull Cavern. Right, I had nearly forgotten. We can do that today because of course, ooh, actually, if we get, because this is 25 key gems, right? And we have 21. So that would bring us up to 46. And we could just, if we wanted to, we could just outright buy the last galaxy soul. Ooh, that'd be tempting. I'd be so tempted to do that. Anyway, I'm only going to I'm only going to go down um I'm only I'm only going to need 99 jades cuz I'm only going to go down to floor 100 and then I also want totems as well. Why does the buttons do that? Doesn't matter. Uh cool. So this should allow us to do Let's go to Lewis's let's deliver Lewis's his birthday gift, his clover right away. And then we can go to then we can go straight to Skull Cavern and do that. And that might be the rest of the episode. So we can finish off the week strong by doing Mr. Key's quest. And then that will be wonderful. Man, I, I'm still not over the fact that we are married. That's incredible. Oh, life in the valley is looking up. Three whole years, or well, two whole years going on three. Where is Lewis? Oh, so good. So unbelievably good. I can't believe it. I can believe it. I'm just honestly, I am honestly shocked that the timing worked out so incredible for that. A birthday gift that's very kind of you. I love it. I just think honestly that it worked out incredibly well for the timing of like getting married on episode 100. Because a little behind the scenes uh, know-how about that. I honestly thought about like, I, I knew 
early on going into it that I needed to do something special for episode 100. And I agonized over what it was going to be because I couldn't just do like a three-day episode by itself. I mean, that's fine and all, but it couldn't just be a three-day episode. That's not enough. That's not good enough. And then it struck me. I was I was recording like episode probably 95 or 96 when it just struck me. It's, you can get married. You're already dating Sophia and you have the pigs for the truffles and the truffle oil. So in case you need to make a rain totem, you can just do that which is a big reason why it really worked out well with the like the the uh, the the maturing and the growing up of the pigs when they did because it really did allow me to get the um the truffles and the truffle oil right in time for uh a, like to summon a rainy day cuz like I wanted to propose on episode 99 which worked out perfectly fine it was great and then 3 days for a three-day episode on episode 100 to get married so honestly it worked out really well which really couldn't have like i i didn't plan that going into it so it worked out pretty fantastic in my mind oh areas infested we don't care about this let's just go down all of these Ugh, i did it accidentally well that's fine unfortunate i should have brought some backups just in case i did something stupid like that uh it doesn't matter that means i just need to find an extra floor or an extra staircase which is fine so let's let's just um enough yammering on about background stuff let's just uh get down to the floor 100 of skull cavern and hope for something interesting along the way i'm hoping and praying for wonderful things like reward and treasure floors so let's 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 go and let's do this Oh, a Pepper Rex. Uh, considering we needed one Pepper Rex to do that Monster Slayer goal, that is exactly what I wanted. I really wanted one of those. So I am very glad to have gotten one of those. That'll be really nice. We can, hopefully, if we do this quick enough, we can even get, um, we can even go pick up what that reward is. So let us, let's continue, I guess. Oh, treasure floor. The first one. What do we get? Iridium Sprinkler really not helpful at all but i suppose i can take it i suppose i'll take it floor 97 we are almost done almost to floor 100 floor 99 and this is our last floor let us see what awaits us on floor 100 besides our key gems of course we have our obligatory guaranteed quest and we also got an achievement from this it's a blue cowboy hat That'll go wonderfully with our red cowboy hat on the urchins, at least. Anyway, we're done with this. I only came for that one key quest, so we're done with that. We are absolutely done with that. Do I have a totem? I, I do have a totem. Oh, that's that's nice. I could do that. And I also picked up, as you saw, the um, uh, the oak resin, so that's, that's wonderful. Uh, I had a few staircases left over, believe it or not, from the... Uh, I found a bunch of stairs just really close to us and then a few holes i think we found like three holes so that's a that's a few things to hang on to as well let's put all of this stuff away we can put uh the wonderful cowboy hat let's take the turban back and put the blue hat on our urchins oh they're all twins red blue and the cat wonderful so turban put all of this stuff back away Wonderful. And we gave Lewis his present, so we're all good. And it's only 5 p.m. Oh, Sophia, hi, how are you doing? Oh, so good. Oh, I'm being able to being able to hug my wife. It's incredible. It's 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 the best thing that's happened thus far. And we have some in incredible music. Uh let's go to Ginger Island. We should have enough time, hopefully in the day, to maybe, if not get a few cinder shards to do the entirety of the volcano dungeon. We should, at least. Let's put that stuff away. Right, we also have some gold. Hmm, we should we should be able to do it, because I would like to. I would like to. Now that we have... Right, let's actually take some... Let's take this stuff with us, because we need this, we need these, and then I'll take a few warp totems just in case. So let's, let's go to Ginger Island. Wait, first I need to put the oak resin away. Because uh, we definitely don't want to have that and lose it. And then we can also take our wonderful stuff back. Uh, dark bandana shirt for the moment. Because we don't need to stay around in our 
Uh, as much as I love the, the marriage outfit, we don't need that at the moment. Again, really nice. Don't need it right now. Let's go put that away. Yeah, we should enough. We, we probably won't have enough time to actually get to the end of the volcano dungeon, but I don't think we'll need to. I feel like we're just in it for the cinder shards at the moment because we need we need a handful of cinder shards uh, to make the the galaxy sword plus or whatever that will allow us to do. Let's check on the cheese really quick, just super quickly. Okay, that's still going. I, that's probably like a week, two weeks away, but that's fine. Let's get to Ginger Island, go up through the volcano, and then I put the, I have some crab cakes, so we'll definitely use those as well. And then uh, let's just, uh, let's just make this happen, people, because I would very much like to get all of the things that we need. Uh, Mr. Key, we'll probably stop by Mr. Key at around 12 o'clock. I think we'll be done, hmm. Actually, we should probably do Mr. Key first. Almost certainly want to do Mr. Key before we go into the dungeon. That way we can just warp back to the house and not worry about it. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the 40 key gems on the Galaxy Soul. Because as much as I think it's entirely possible, it's just a matter of time to get a Galaxy Soul from the uh, mines. I just don't want to do that luck component anymore. <laughs> I, I Like, I'm fine with it. It's good. It's fine. It's whatever. It's just beyond me for the moment. I mean, ah, the Junimo chests. Ah, Junimo chests would be helpful. But the Galaxy Soul, don't think about things. We have all three Galaxy Souls, so now it's just a matter of time. Now all we have to do is uh, just find all of the uh, Cinder Shards that we need. We don't need to do anything else, so it's just a matter of time at this point. So let us uh, let me just put a bunch of stuff away really quick, just to be safe. How many Cinder Shards do we have? We have 25. Because I'm I think for the Galaxy Souls, we need like 60 in total. I think that's how it works. Or I think that I think that's what it'll amount to. Anyway, let's just uh, leave all of this stuff in here and then go hunt Cinder Shards, I guess. So we just need Fire Sprites, which is good for the Monster Slayer goal. I forgot to do that, but we can check that out uh, eventually. We don't have to do that right now. We don't have to do that right now. We'll do it once we have all of them. Once we have the, uh, the Lava Sprites as well, we'll go and do all of it all at once. So let's uh let's let's go harvest harvest some cinder shards from this ancient volcano's depths. Ooh, a chest. I will definitely take this. It's probably not gonna have anything useful inside. Yeah, that's like the fourth soul sapper ring that we've got our hands on. But that is, you know, I guess I can sell it or, you know, do something with it, gift it to someone. Give it to Marlin, I guess. He can get Oh, excuse me, he can get rid of it. Anyway, we're up to 31 Cinder Shards at floor number 6. It's 11 o'clock, but we I don't think we'll make it to the end. If we do, we do. Not not a big deal. We're here for the Shards. So we've been uh, doing our due diligence by fighting all of these wonderful... Well, not wonderful, but you know, we've been fighting the Sprites. And then that's a few more right there, and that's always good. And then... Do we need to do anything else? I don't think we need to do anything else. We're getting pretty close to the end of the day, midnight o'clock. Not a lot of um, these uh, Cinder Shard nodes, which is fine, but we can spend the night. Hopefully we can, you know, we might be able to get to the end. We might be able to get to the end. I'm not going to hold my breath too much to get to uh, the end of uh, Lava Cavern 1220. Mm, we might not. If we don't, well, you will probably be able to do it. We'll probably be able to get to the end, but whether or not we'll be able to... Yeah, if we just ignore everyone, we should be able to get back to the, the farmhouse. Oh, another Soul Sapper Ring. How incredible. I'm so glad to have even more of that. Anyway, we should be able to... Yeah, we'll have more than enough time to get back to the the house. On Ginger Island, at the very least. It's 1 o'clock. Yeah, we should be able to get back there. We should be able to get back there. That is fine. We can spend the night on Ginger Island, and then in the next episode, we can potentially upgrade our sword, and even our fishing rod. We can make use of those prismatic shards, at the very least. But that is... That's going to be it for today. That's going to be it for episode 100. We did a Mr. Key quest off a cuff with stairs, but that's fine. That's how things work. We got married, which is, you know, the biggest milestone probably in the last 100 episodes. I mean, like... 
a lot of things are pretty nice in Stardew Valley Expanded, but not a lot can compare to actual marriage. I think that's probably the creme de la creme, the piece de resistance, the best of the best when it comes to all of this wondrous stuff. Oh, this is so good. This is so unbelievably good. So unbelievably good. Let's sort out the inventories. We got some cave bats. Uh, wow, we got two of them. That's pretty rare, but we're going to be fine. The plan for the next episode, the plan for the next episode is prismatic shards, galaxy souls, and bone nodes for more fertilizer. So that is going to wrap up episode 100. I hope everyone had an absolutely fantastic time with episode 100 because it was incredible. We got married. I'm still not over the fact that we've finally married the woman of our dreams. Oh, cosplay city, baby. This is great. Let's put these hands in the hand crusher and let's go to bed. So, whether you watched this incredible, fantastic, marriage-filled 100th episode of Stardew Valley Expanded for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next episode. Later.